Hello friends, this video on circles part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's understand few more terms. Arc. So arc is nothing but a piece of circle between two points. So for example, if you had two points, if you join these two points to get called, I'm not talking about joining these two points, I'm talking about a piece of circle. The red one is called arc. So if you have any two point, you can actually have a piece of circle that is joining these two points. This is called arc. Right? So let me write here. Arc is nothing but piece of circle between two points. This is called arc. And note that if let's suppose give the name A and B. So you can actually have one arc like this, big one, one arc like this, small one. Right? So how to donate? So to denote this, what we can do is we can just say AB is the arc. So we put a arrow here, curve arrow. This is how we denote minor arc. How to denote this major arc? To denote the major arc, we just take any point C somewhere here, and then we say A C B. This is a major arc. Right? So whenever you see AB with the arc sign, by default it is a minor arc. Okay? So if you see the longer arc is called major arc. This is called longer arc. Longer arc. And it is called major arc. And the shorter arc. It's called right. So if you take any two points of the circle, then you'll see that these two points will actually divide the circle into two parts. One arc will be the major major arc, the other arc will be the minor arc. Okay. So the major arc to denote the major arc, we just take any other point C, it can be anywhere, and we just say A C B with arrow that denotes a major arc. And for minor arc, we just say A B with a arrow, it denotes minor arc. Right? That's all about major and minor arc. Next is semicircle. So what if what if we uh, plot these points AB in such a way that AB are at the extreme ends of the interval? So in that case, if what you get is equal arc. For example, let's take EF. So if you take EF as a point where it supposes the diameter, so this EF will actually divide the circle into two equal arc, right? So in that case, it will be called semicircle. Okay. So if EF, E and F are here, EF are at ends of diameter. Since they are at end of diameter, what you see is that these two points are actually dividing the circle into two equal arc. One is this arc, the other is this arc. And both this arc are same, right? So both arc are same. So each arc will be called semicircle. Each equal arc is called semicircle. So you see, the word came from circle, semicircle, partial circle, or half circle, half half circle. That is, semicircle is half circle. This is one arc. This is one arc. Okay. So we understood what is arc. Arc is nothing but the piece of circle between two points. You take any two points, EF, you take two points, there is one arc here, one is arc here. If you take AB as a point, there is one big arc here, one small arc here. So in case where we have big and small arc, the bigger arc is called major arc, the smaller arc is called minor arc. So in case where these two points are actually at the ends of diameter and the both arc are equal length, then we call each of the arc as semicircle. So we have three terms minor arc, major arc, and semicircle. Okay. Let's understand a new term called sector. So you, let's suppose you have an arc. Okay. And let's assume that the point is A and B. So from this point A and B, you have an arc. 
Now you join this and let's suppose the center is O. So you join A with the center and B with the center. You join these like this. So what you get is a center. So it is a region between an arc and two radius. So it is region between R and two radius. Okay. So the region between the R and two radius where you join the center to the end points of this arc. This is called sector. You have joined the center to the end point of this arc and what you get is called sector. Here also there are two centers. You see the red one which you see is called a minor sector. It was from a minor arc. And this is what you call as major sector. Similar to minor and major arc, you have minor sector and major sector. So minor arc AB corresponds to a major sector. So AB is a minor arc, it corresponds to minor sector and the major arc ACB, it corresponds to major sector. Right? This whole thing is a major sector. This whole thing is a minor sector. Okay, let me draw dot 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 for the minor sector area so that you can understand. So you understand what is a minor sector. So this is a minor sector area. Okay, and what you see here, this is this is a minor sector. And what you see in the dots is a major sector. Okay. Same thing here also. So what if, if these two points AB which we saw are ends of a diameter, so let's suppose you have all P and F are the two points, then in that case you get two sectors and these two sectors are equal and in that case we call it as semi-circular region. So we don't call it as a sector, we call it as semi-circular region. Both these sectors will be called semi circular region when both the arc are equal that is each arc is a semi circle that is when these two points are at the end of diameter in that case the sector which you get are two equal sectors and these sectors are called semi circular region okay let's understand the concept of segment so we have again an arc so instead of joining this arc to the center if we draw a chord here so we had these two points from these two points we let's suppose the points are AB so we drew an arc and we drew a chord and this area will be called segment and this area will also be called a segment so this area will be called minor segment and this will be called major segment so if you see the difference that time we call it arc we will be joined with the center. This time we are calling segment. Okay, so this, this is the reason between the chord and either of its arc. Region between chord and either of its arc. So there are two, two arc here. So we put a point C here. So we have one arc, major, major arc, and minor arc. Right? So major arc will correspond to a major segment and minor arc will correspond to minor segment. Correct? So this is a minor segment, major segment. And again in case in case where these two points are uh, part of diameter, end points of diameter. So in that case if you see each will form a semicircle and again here also if you see both this segment will be called semicircular region. Please note both in case of sector and segment when it is a semicircle it is all same because I mean in that here also if you see this is actually touching the center right so both the regions are same so major segment minor segment major arc minor arc we don't have in case where 
E and F are end points of diameter, right? Or where the arc is actually a semicircular arc. So in that case, we have semicircular region. Semicircular arc corresponds to semicircular region. Okay. Let's understand our uh, understanding now. If we have understood the problem, let's take a small uh, numerical. The center of a circle lies in dash of the circle, exterior or interior. This is the center. Does it lie in the interior or exterior? So we can actually see that it is part of the interior of the circle. So the answer will be interior. A point whose distance from the center of the circle is greater than the radius. So let's suppose this is my radius. It's greater than the radius. So there's a point called here, point P. This is a point whose distance from the center is exactly greater than the radial. So can you see, is it lying inside the circle, outside the circle? You can actually see that this is lying outside the circle. So it will be exterior. The longest chord of the circle is called what? So we have seen that the longest chord will actually pass through the center and we call it diameter an arc is a dash when it when the ends uh, when the, its ends are the ends of diameter so we have seen that in this case where uh, these ends are the ends of diameter and let this point be ef so in that case each of these is called each of the arc is called semicircle segment of a circle in which is the reason between arc and dash of the circle. So we have seen that the segment this is the segment, right? This is the segment, and segment is the reason, reason between the arc and the chord of the circle. And the chord of the circle. A circle divides the plane on which it lies actually in three parts. So we have seen this, right? So one is the interior region, the other is the, the circle, and the third is the exterior region. Let's take some true false. Line segment joining the center to any point on the circle is called radius. Here, if you join the center from any point in the circle, this length is called radius. This is true. Circle can have only finite number of chords. That is wrong. So we can have n number of chords, right? Unlimited number of chords. Circle is divided into three equal arc. Each is a major arc. No, so that is not possible. So if the circle is divided into three equal arc, that three will not. Each of these will be actually will be minor arc, will not be major arc. A, a chord is of a circle which is twice as long as, as the radius is called diameter. Yes, we have seen that. So if we have a uh, diameter is actually two r. Diameter is a chord. So diameter is a chord whose radius, whose distance is twice as radius. This is called diameter. This is true. Sector is the reason between the chord and, and its corresponding arc. So we know that this is sector, right? And the sector is nothing but reason between the arc and the radius, not the arc and the chord. Arc and the chord. The reason is called segment. So this is wrong. Circle is a plane figure. Yes, you can draw a circle on a plane, so it is a plane figure. Okay, please pause this video for some time. Understand uh, the true and false and the previous fill in the blanks questions. Okay. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.